members to DIY projects, pretty much anything home and outdoor related. So I would recommend you to subscribe if you like seeing that type of content. But today's video particularly is going to be a DIY project specifically a DIY dining bench. This past Christmas in 2022, I actually built my parents a dining room table. Some plans I found online by Shanty to Chic that I will link down below. The table honestly wasn't too difficult to build and it only cost $150, I believe, in materials. Um, and that's just like the wood itself. You will need to have like a miter saw and other tools if you're wanting to build that dining table, but $150 if you already have everything is not too bad for a very large brand new dining table. So I built them a dining table. I still need to sand it and stain it. But before I did that, I wanted to also build them a bench because they bought some new dining table chairs that fit the new dining table. And they wanted a bench along the wall so that they could push the table against the wall if they wanted more room in the kitchen. So. I was kind of torn on what I wanted the bench to look like. I didn't want it to look like one of the traditional benches where it's just like two legs on each end and then the bench top. Um, I kind of wanted it to look like upscale but also not have a lot of detail at the same time because the table itself does have a lot of pretty intricate trim work around the legs so I didn't want anything, any styles to clash. So I found this image online of a beautiful dining bench that I want to try to recreate. I will pop an image of it on the screen. I love everything about this dining bench. I feel like it will go really well with the style of the dining table um, and it will complement it, but it also looks kind of like high end. So I went to Lowe's, or actually I went to Home Depot and I purchased a 2 by 12 by 10 foot board. I will link below the boards that I bought in case you're wanting to recreate this DIY as well. I picked up a 10 foot board which will be plenty um, because the bench top, the full length of it that I'm building is actually going to be five and a half feet around that and then the legs are going to be two feet tall. Um, so four feet plus five and a half nine and a half feet so a 10 foot board should be fine i am very excited to get started on this diy project but if you have not subscribed i highly suggest that you subscribe i post every single weekend uh usually on either fridays or saturdays mostly saturdays give this video a like and subscribe and let's get into this diy project i am now going to measure and mark how long i want the top board of the bench to be Yours will differ depend on how long your dining table is. And then I'm using my speed square just to make the line perfectly straight. And then we're going to go ahead and use the miter saw to just cut that piece of wood. I am now cutting the legs of the bench. I did mine at 20 inches. You should measure the height of your dining table to see exactly how tall you want the bench to be. But I googled it and online it said anywhere from 18 inches to 23 inches is a standard height. So I did 20. And then we're just going to go ahead and sand every single piece. I'm not doing a super rough sand. I'm just using not a fine grit sandpaper, but I'm using about 80 grit just to get a lot of that gunk and stuff off of the top and just make everything smooth for staining. I have sanded everything and I also went over um, off the pieces of wood with a just dry cloth, um, like a really thick cloth, just to wipe away all of the the dust from sanding, um, just to make sure that it's all wiped down and clean, so to speak. Now I'm going to figure out how to, I know how I want to attach the legs, but I need to figure out how far I want them in from the outside of the bench. So I'm just going to kind of play around with it. Um, and see if, I think maybe around six inches would be good, but I'm just gonna lay it all out and see. And then I'm actually gonna be using pocket holes um, to attach everything together. I also picked up a two by four that will act as a brace once we get the legs put on. That way, obviously when you sit on it, the legs don't wobble in or out. And I'll attach that with pocket holes as well and maybe some wood screws, just to make sure it's super secure.
you can see that. <laughs> you scared? No, I just didn't know where to put my feet. It's nice. It's sturdy. It's sturdy, huh? You killed it. Ain't going nowhere. The bench is complete. Sorry, the sun is making everything look kind of washed out on top. But here's the side profile view. That's what the sides look like. Top. Come down on the steps here. what the front looks like and I don't know if you can tell you can kind of see where the pocket holes are right there um, I'm gonna fill those with wood filler and we are going to stain this bench so the staining and the wood fill will really help it to blend in come back up here and this is what it looks like sit down in my egg chair it looks really good we sat on it a whole bunch and my husband and I both sat on it and swung our feet out and it is super sturdy you cannot tell that um, or there's like no shakiness at all it's it's a very sturdy piece you can see a little bit of that crossbar in the middle which I wanted that's what it looks like in the um, picture of the $760 bench that I was looking at so I made sure to implement that I also really like all of the knots on it I feel like it gives it a really cool look and yeah I'm very happy with it so next up I might give it one final sand um, just to make sure that there's no frayed edges like here you can see some of the edges are a little bit frayed um, we'll give it a good sand fill in some of those pocket holes and then we can get to staining it. Before I started staining the bench, I actually went in with some Minwax wood conditioner. This wood conditioner really helps to prevent any splotchiness and just even out all of the grain of the wood. And just make sure that when you apply the stain, it goes on super nicely. So I would highly recommend doing a coat of wood conditioner before you stain. As you can see here, it really just makes the wood a lot richer and it kind of like gives it the moisture that it needs to take in the stain. I let the wood conditioner dry for about five minutes before applying the stain. This stain is actually a combination of three different types of stain or three different colors of stain. I'll leave everything that I used and kind of the ratios that I used linked down below in the description box but I am just going back and forth here on the board and just applying the stain. I did find that this white staining rag that I got from Lowe's really did not work very well. It soaked up way too much of the stain and I also, when I went back the second time, did not wipe off stain with the paper towel because I wanted it to be a darker color. So you'll see later in the video I kind of switch over to a foam brush and I am not wiping off any of the stain because I noticed that as soon as I would wipe the stain off, there would be practically zero color from the stain on the wood, and I just wanted it to be a really dark, rich color. So I just used a foam brush, like I said, and just let it sit and dry before doing a second coat. I ended up doing about four coats on this entire dining bench because before I was wiping the stain off with the paper towel and I just wanted it to be a dark, rich stain. So it may take less coats for you if you don't wipe off any of the stain with the paper towel. As you just saw, it started pouring down rain outside, so we moved our project into the garage, and this is the finished look. I love how it turned out. It turned out exactly like the picture that I was going to recreate. I love the stain color on it, 
It may look a little bit splotchy or unfinished on camera. That's because it was still drying, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get a really good shot of it in the kitchen in its permanent spot because it was still pretty wet, but overall I am extremely happy with this DIY project. It was super easy to do and I just can't believe we were able to make it for such a good deal. I hope that you all enjoyed today's video. I am so happy with the way that the dining bench turned out. I do apologize that I was not able to get better shots of the completed bench. I actually stayed up and waited until midnight for the bench to dry and it was still wet so I couldn't move it into the kitchen. I had to just let it dry and I wanted to get the video up for you guys this weekend so that is the footage that I have, but I still think it's a very great representation of what we were trying to accomplish, which was, can we make this $749 bench from Burke Decor for a lot less? And the answer is yes. So I will total up everything on the screen and share with you how much everything costs down to the wood, the wood filler that I use, the stain, everything that I used excluding tools I will put on the screen that way we can total up and see the exact difference between the expensive $749 bench and our bench that we made. I already know it's going to be so much less because the wood alone was around $30. I just used framing lumber. Obviously the bench online that is very expensive is made of oak and ours was made of pine. So it is two different wood species and oak is a lot nicer I guess you could say but I think our bench still turned out really nice anyways this is definitely a project that you can do in a weekend I did it in a weekend I started on Friday and it is now Sunday and it is just something that if you need a bench in your home even if you just want an entryway bench you can get wood that is narrower you don't have to get a 12 foot wide board you can use this bench in so many different areas of your house in your mudroom and it only cost me $30 for the wood. I hope that you will give this a try. If you do try out this DIY, make sure to tag me on Instagram. My handle is Emma Redman underscore. I would highly, highly recommend that you subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I post a new video every single weekend and I just love sharing in this space. It has just been so fun. I just still cannot get over how good the bench looks. It looks exactly like the bench in the picture online. I just cannot get over it. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.